What's up, YouTube? So I'm here with another bioorganic mulching method today. Um, so for today's method, uh, it's about mulching with palm stems to uh, minimize grass growth. So this is just something I, uh, I came up with in the spur of the moment. And it, it looks like it's working pretty well. Uh, you can see here, there's basically no visible grass. So I, I just placed these palm stems here, but this is how that side, this is how that side looked. So five, five minutes ago, this looked like this. So I, I believe it's doing a pretty good job. Now, you, you would need a lot of palms um, prone to, to get this many stems. So I'm literally using palm leaves that were pulled off the plant. And I just saw how they how well they could fit next to each other, the stems. I saw how well they could fit next to each other. And I just layered them in. And as I put my hands on top of here, I could feel the I could feel heat from the sun hitting this. So that, that's letting me know that the garden is that much cooler. So it, it's gonna help to keep, uh, it's gonna help to preserve water. And it's gonna help to keep those those grass and, and weeds down. So, all right, this is a quick met, uh, quick video on this method that I'm uh, that I'm utilizing right now. So I plan on having this whole garden bed mulched maybe within the next year with these with all of these palm stems, and then I want to do that orange tree over there. Um, I also want to do it because I have plants like like this tomato plant while I'm letting them sprawl. I just want to experiment on how well they'll do uh, sprawling instead of being staked. So, yeah. So I'll update guys and for this orange tree over here. I'm over here renovating the bed. Basically, I, I just turned, I'm just turning every brick uh, 45 degrees. So I had it to where the edges, these two edges were up here and it, it, and it was in a straight line all the way around, making a nice circle, nice beautiful circle. So now I turn each brick 45 degrees to make a diamond pattern, but still be within that circle shape. So I'm still in the process of doing this. The reason why I'm doing it is because I'm opening up space in order to allow me to plant around this orange tree. I don't like wasting any space. So like for, for right here, for instance, because I turned this brick, uh, because I turned this part from right there to right here, and that part from right there to right there, and it just freed up two different spaces that I can plant. Uh, that I can contain the plant. So I'm gonna put a small container here and a small container here and cut the bottoms over. Just like I do with uh, the rest of these uh, container grown plants. And I plan on having about uh, 24, 24 plants around in that orange tree, 24 to 30, depending on how many bricks there are. So if there's 15 bricks, I can plant 30 plants around that orange tree within those two locations I just showed. All right, guys. So that's my update for today. I'm gonna finish this. I'm gonna layer these next to each other. I'm gonna layer as many as I can. And, and then once it's time to prune the palms again around my house, I'll collect those and, and complete this project. But other than that, I'm just gonna layer what I can. And I'm just gonna take all the palm leaves and put it around this lemon tree to keep all this grass down and so I can let my tomatoes and everything else sprawl. And my watermelons once they start coming up so i can let everything sprawl and then i'm just gonna have those sprawling on top of the uh, palm leaves all right guys so i'm gonna end it with this big bumblebee pollinating all right oh look Here's some Atila strawberries. That's an Atila strawberry plant from Baker Creek that I just transplanted. All right, guys, have a good one. Oh, and a, a black goji berry. Looks like it has a little bit of transplant shock, but I hope it's doing well. Well, I hope.
help it or do well. It's still standing. Transplanted about two days ago.